you know, this next thing I'm getting ready to talk about right here, uh, it's, it's sad. It's sad on so many levels. It really truly is. You see the title, Eight Children, Lonely, No Husband. Well, I've got a very prominent figure in the ministry, right? A, a very honest and reliable man. As a matter of fact, anybody who knows him, who's ever played with him and ever met him, know that he's a man of integrity. But I tell you what, man, it sure does speak to the levels of how far people would stoop for a lying woman, don't it? I'm talking about a woman that has nothing but lies. Now, you know, in this world right here, you have to understand that the system is built on lies. There's no fairness to it whatsoever at all. And, and you're not going to get the truth out of this, but you know what? When the breath go out of our body, it's coming. But I often, you know, I told him in a nutshell, listen, let these people have their cake, so-called eat it too, and enjoy it right now. Because even though they may have it, they still ain't going to enjoy it. So now, so what happened was there's this woman um, that, you know what she did? She decided to divorce her husband uh, based on the fact. And this is the true fact right here. They had a discussion that woman wasn't created in the image of Yah or God. And of course, when you go back to Genesis and you read it, it's just a fact. But not only that, then the next thing you know, uh, they go to all these counselors. And all these counselors and stuff and all these Christian counselors kept telling them over and over and over again, you just submit to her, where that crap at? You just do what she wants and, and then you can win her over by loving kindness. And I said, man, that is totally 100% contrary to what the book says. You don't never submit to a woman in any way, shape, fashion, or form as a man. You just don't. You never do that. Whole cities and kingdoms been destroyed because of a lying woman. You don't submit to no woman like that. The book teaches that the woman is supposed to submit to a man. So anyway, he just really couldn't square with him. So anyway, she left him. They got eight children and a newborn. Can you imagine? I can imagine how heart-wrenching, how gut-wrenching it was and is for a man to have eight siblings that he got out on that gridiron called the NFL, worked his ass off. For nine years to build a, a future for himself and his children to have an inheritance for them only to have it snatched away from me because of a Jezebelic Horus woman yeah I'm telling you the straight up truth and you know what I told him I said brother don't worry about that you good because where those eight come from you can make 18 more 20 more and the next one you have, it will fill that void out of the eight that you lost. Now, the older ones are out on social media, dishonoring, disrespecting, cussing their father out. Where you think they learned their behavior from? You see what I mean? This generation don't give a damn about the commandment that says, honor your father and mother that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God give you. It don't mean the shit to them. Can you imagine that? Because, see, if they were still on his roof, he would have been to knock the taste out of their mouth. But can you imagine the dishonor and disrespect? I said, man, let those bastards go. Now, this way Pastor Dow talks straight up, real talk. Because this is patriarchal. This is nothing about matriarchal. Right? This is not about giving up your strength to no woman, especially a rebellious Jezebelic woman. Well, as fate would have it, this man has got remarried, done had another beautiful, healthy son. And a beautiful wife too. And doing excellent and well and at peace and just as happy as a day is long. Everything that Pastor Dow told him is coming to pass. See, I'm wasn't the one. And and I tried to meet with this woman, but she didn't want to meet with me. She didn't want to meet with me, didn't want to meet with Mother Carol, didn't want to meet with us, wanted to meet with those sorry um simps of so-called preachers and teachers in Christianity that she could manipulate and control through tears. Honey, am I telling the truth so far? Absolutely. Am I lying in any way, shape, fashion, or form? No, sir. Am I adding any jelly to this? No, sir. That's the account. And so, um, as fate would have it, he's got a community and a family and doing well, happy he's ever been in his life, and a true family. So anyway, the system gave her half of his money. You got it? He's already back on the rise again making money. It's just utterly amazing. 
Think about that. You know what she's doing? She's out on social media, on dating, dating sites, looking for someone to fill the void. You know what one of her things is? Check this out. Look at this. Had a faithful man, had a good man, had an honorable man, had a man that wouldn't run the streets, wouldn't commit adultery, wouldn't run out on her, do none of that. Check this out. Check this out. She's out there looking for, watch this, watch this, a good man that will be a father to her children. I'm sorry, folks. This woman is in her late 40s. Her value is below zero. It's, it's like negative 50,000. There ain't no guy out there unless he's a simp. There ain't unless he's a beta male. There's no guy out there that is going to come into a relationship with a woman that has 10 children by another man. 10 children. Can you imagine? Can you imagine what that thing is probably like? 10 children by another man? Now, she's a millionaire because he gave her the millions because he was under force coercion and duress of jail time in prison. That's a God bless America, huh? Can you imagine that? Can you imagine this stuff happening in our day in the land of Israel, the real true Israel? Not in your, not if you bet your bottom dollar on it. And now all of her so-called friends that was very instrumental in spitting in her ear, helping her to be rebellious and trying to manipulate this man right here, which he didn't capitulate to. Now they're all telling her, you're, you're bigger than this. You don't have to go out there to social media. What do you do when, when a woman is burning? I mean, it's obvious if a woman has eight children by one man, that means she's enjoying sex just as much as he is. That's obvious. Because you don't have eight children unless you are having a lot of sex. And now she's burning and lonely. And now she's out on dating sites, therefore lowering her value even more so. Now, what happened was, what happened is, is that she have to get on these, put up the best picture she got, because all the wrinkles and, and the bottom falling out and the butt sagging and chest sagging and everything else, it's all coming in right now. See, beauty is only skin deep but ugly to the bone. But you know what? Beauty don't last forever. It don't last forever. Now she got to get out there and put up a, a picture from maybe 20, 15, 10 years ago. And then she'll, some simple get on there and go, ooh, 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 ooh. But when they get into her bowel, if she tell the truth, what she'll do, go out on a date or whatever it is, she would have to keep that man away from that house, though. Because if he was to go over to the house that, that she's at and see eight of these little, little rug rats running around, ooh, boy, can you imagine? I seen a post the other day telling you how demonically deranged this world is. A post the other day said, look at this, a good man, you know a Jezebelic witch woman wrote this. A good man is a good husband when he sticks by his wife, even though she went out and got pregnant by another man. Hey, my name is Pastor Dow. You let my wife go out and get pregnant by another man. Um, if 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 they have not cut her open and surgically removed my foot out of a damn colon, <laughs> I'll tell you, it'll be curtains. Goodbye, good riddance, so the hell on. I'm going to show you what kind of man I am. A woman go out there and commit adultery, have a, a baby by another man. No, no, no. A man is a man say you take your ass on. Goodbye, good riddance, and so they'll take your funky ass on. Bye. That's a man. I got to ask, what is this alternative conscious? What is this alternate conscious that is going on in this world today? Because it does not resemble morality in any way, shape, fashion, or form. Am I off? Somebody tell me I'm off. Now, I don't expect for these witch Jezebels to, to, uh, to, to actually understand what I'm talking about and stuff. I really don't. Because it seems today that whoredoms is, is, is the new woman. It's the new way. I seen on Facebook the other day. Check this out. A woman is about, look at this. She's somewhere between five and six months pregnant. You know what she did? She went out there and put on one of those things that you put around your, your midsection. 
and tighten that damn thing up to where her figure looked like she's um, uh, a swimsuit model. And you know where she was going? I'm like thinking, what about the, I'm like, what about the baby in there? I mean, had that thing tight. You know what she's doing? She getting ready to go to the club. I wonder what that man gonna think unless he's drunk off the skunk and drunken and cooler brown. I wonder what he gonna think when she take that thing off and that belly come plopping out right there. Cause see, that woman only did that for one reason and one reason alone. An evil and an adulterous generation seek it after the sign. There shall be no sign given to it except the sign of Jonah the prophet. Well, my name's Pastor Dow. And the sign is this, repent and turn from your wicked ways unless you all likewise perish. That's real talk right there. See, this is the debauchery that has been normalized today. This is the lewdness that has been normalized today. This is the immorality that has now become the norm where now good has become evil and evil has become good. This is the reality of what we live in today. And you mean to tell me that these people today are in any moral position to make any type of judgments concerning what's right and wrong? Can you imagine what the next generation is going to be like? You can forget about America having an army in the next 20 years because all they're going to be doing is throwing flowers at each other in rainbows. They ain't going to have no fight in them to fight nothing. The food is modified, estrogen dominant. People confused. They don't even know if they were born a man or a woman even though they look down to see their anatomy. Man, we finished. We finished. And see, I'm one of the last baskets of truth in this wicked and perverse world world right here. I am. I'm serious. It's disturbing that they're normalizing everything that is wicked, everything that used to be called a mental defect. It's a sad what we in right now. And the children growing up in it, especially they get to this public school system, ooh, wait, you won't believe what will be happening, what will be teaching your children. You know what? You are crap for a parent if you got your children going to a public food system. You really truly are. No, that's, that's my personal opinion because what do you think they're going to be subject to when they get out there around all this wickedness that's in this world? Do you even really truly give a damn? Or are you more, more worried about how pastor preaches and teaches? Or are you more worried about having clean mouths while your mouth is, uh, and, and your life is, well, while your life is filthy as hell? Yeah, you worried about having a clean mouth and a filthy life and you worried about how I say things when I'm rebuking and reproving, correcting, exhorting, lifting up my voice like a trumpet and showing this house, everybody listen to me, what the hell wickedness is. Because today they don't call nothing wicked in case, you know, except anything that's righteous, they call it wicked. And they come out vicious against anything that's righteous. Man, the hell with this world and the hell with y'all. They got this crazy alternative lifestyle. At least one thing, I know I'm, I'm reaching a demographics of people that has morality and no right wrong. You know what? It's only going to be us. We better band together. We better band together hard because I tell you what, the alternative consciousness and the alternative mindset, boy, they are ruling. Not only in every sector of government, but in the school systems um, uh, and, and daycares everywhere. They're trying to get after our children. These predators are trying to get after our children in every way, shape, fashion, or form. You better get out the cities. You better start home schooling your children so you at least have something in your seed to, to remain to know what's right from wrong because hey there's no absolutes in this world no more there's nothing absolutely right and absolutely wrong and unless it is defined by the parents themselves the children are finished <laughs>